Hi everyone, this is Brandon, and I'm going to show you a nifty system of macros that I'm currently working on that allow me to program using speech recognition. Uh, I'm using Dragon Naturally Speaking as my speech recognition engine and some third-party open source add-ons that allow me to create Python macros for this task. So uh, anyways, um, the, the two third-party add-ons are called Natlink and Dragonfly. This system allows me to create a series of macro scripts. And I created a script for each programming language that I use. And each of these scripts can be enabled and disabled by voice. Here, I'll, I'll show you what, what I've done. When I installed the add-ons to Dragon Naturally Speaking, this window thing appears and basically it lets me show what's what's enabled and what's disabled and what's the current language script. For example, I'll show you here I'll activate Dragon Naturally Speaking. Enable C sharp. As you can see what happened here is it enabled, when I said enable C sharp, it enables that script. And I can disable it if I say switch language. It disabled it. I also have several other languages, for example, C. Enable C switch language. As you can see, it worked also with C. Basically, it just enables these scripts that I've created. I'll go into that in, in a later video of all the technical details of how that works. But for now, I'm just showing just how, or just as a demonstration of what it does and how it's useful for for use programming without using a keyboard. You still have to use a mouse or some kind of pointer device to point to things. It's not all automated by voice, but that was one of the trade-offs I decided to make. Well, I have a, a disability that makes it so I can't use a keyboard as well, or I can't, eventually I won't be able to use a keyboard at all. So, um, but this still works per quite well. But as I said, it's not perfect, and it's still, I'm still working on it. So here, I'm going to show you an example of a Hello World program. Very simple um, in C sharp. So I'm going to enable C sharp. Enable C sharp. Now I'm going to pull up Visual Studio 2010 to show you what I'm going to write in C sharp. So I start with a basic uh, project here. I just created it real quick for this this demonstration. Um, so basically, it's just the a class and all that stuff and so I'm going to create my main method. I can create a method by using one of my macros. This is the power of what I created. Method. As you can see it creates a template for the method and um, so basically I just have to fill in these things but did definitely some of the syntax that would take you longer to manually type up using Dragon Naturally Speaking is already done for you. So basically, I'll select this thing, this data type. I'll say static void. Camel main. When I had to say camel main, camel basically it puts the words, it puts a bunch of words together without spaces in which in between each, but each is capitalized. I also have a thing called, I call var. Basically, it the first word will not be capitalized, but every word after that will be capitalized. And everything, nothing has, or there's no spaces in between the words. So basically, I've created my main method. And actually, i got to add some stuff in there. var string in brackets space 
arguments, print statement, in quotes, hello world, backspace, semicolon, new line, comment, this is the print statement for the program. As you can see, what I created here is I have a print statement. I have a macro for that because I use that a lot for debugging and, and stuff like that and for just basic programs or console applications like this. I also have a comment syntax thing. When I say comment, it creates a comment. It says this is a print statement, so I just say out the what I want to put in the comment. I also have one for multi-line. I say multi-line comments, and it puts it lets me do multi-line comments. But for for this, it's good just to do a single-line comment. But uh, pretty much it should work. Uh, our hello world. I'm going to show you something a little bit more complex because hello world. That's that's kind of lame. That doesn't really get into the some of the cool stuff I can do. I'm going to put a for loop in this thing. So. I'm going to make it write hello world several times. New line, for loop, integer var i equals zero var i less than ten var i plus plus basically we have our for loop here with our conditions. So it should print this maybe 10 times or so. And um, actually, what I'm going to do here is at the end, new line, I'm going to create a read so it, it we could see the actual output because usually it'll close the program before we can even see it. So I'm going to say camel console dot parameters semicolon. Then I'm scratch that. Sorry, I had my microphone off, so it it responded. Um, so basically it should loop through here and, and and put out hello world as many times as I said. So here I'm going to run the program. I'm going to go save just to make sure it's saved. Now I'm going to go start the program. So as you can see in the output it, it prints out hello world, the number of loop times and so that should, that's the, the simple hello world program. So that should conclude my first video here. In later videos, I'll show you more technical stuff and how it all works.